Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can set up review quizzes for your students by using a free online digital tool called Socrative. This type of quiz is different from traditional quizzes whereby students take a quiz, they get their score, but they don't know why they got the answers wrong. This can cause test anxiety. Socrative is different in that it shifts the focus from traditional assessment to assessment for learning, where students can actually learn from the results of a quiz or a test by getting automated feedback on wrong answers. This can lead to more learning and an increase in confidence, and it also saves time grading tests for teachers. Here's how you can create a quiz on Socrative. First, go to Socrative.com, set up a free teacher's account, select teacher login, enter your email address and password to log in, and then click sign in. Next, go to quizzes, click on add quiz, and select create new. Then give your quiz a unique title. I'll call mine review quiz. Then choose one of the three question types. I'm going to select multiple choice. Next type in your question. Mine is a grammar question. Sophie is making pancakes. I am helping blank. I'm testing them on subject and object pronouns. Then enter four choices. And after you've entered those four choices, don't forget to click X to delete any extra choices that you don't need. Then make sure you tell Socrative what the correct answer is so that it can auto grade the quiz for you. It should turn green. Finally, give an explanation in case students get the question wrong. This lets them learn from their mistakes through automated feedback. When you're finished, click plus add another question. If you want to keep going, I'm choosing multiple choice. My question is these pancakes are too sweet for blank. Now I'm going to choose just two choices, me and I, and then click the X boxes to eliminate extra choices. And then make sure you give an explanation as to why it's wrong. So we're going to give it feedback now. And then tell Socrative what the correct answer is, it will turn green. Let's do a new question type now, add multiple choice question, this time with a picture. Add your question, click plus for the picture, choose your picture from your hard drive, and then type in your answers. I'm going to type in whisk, blend, great, and wait. Then click the X boxes to eliminate extra choices, and then make sure you tell it the right answer and type in the explanation as before. Then click save and exit when you finish the test. When you're ready to give your students a quiz, click on launch and then select quiz. When you've selected that, locate your quiz from the database. Ours is called review quiz. Click on start. Then set the conditions. Let it give instant feedback on their answers. Make sure they type their names so that you know who's taking the test. Show question feedback so that they get feedback on their answers. And then show them their score so that they know how much they scored. Then click start. When the students have logged in using your room name, this is the room name, you'll see their names show up on the list. Here, if you select progress, you'll be able to see how much they've done on the quiz so far. If it says 50, it means they're halfway through the test. It doesn't mean they got 50%. And okay. it will work it out. Okay, so let's start the quiz, everyone. Uh, oh, let me share my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes, I yeah, see. Yes, I see. Brilliant. So for this quiz, you need to use your mobile phone or your computer. It's up to you, whichever you prefer. Okay. But go to Socrative.com and then click on Student Login. Okay. Okay. Tell me when you're ready. Next, give the room number to the student so that they can enter the quiz. They type in the room number, which is here. 
It's composed of letters and numbers and they click join. This is what it looks like on the student's PC or their phone. They enter the room number, click join and then they'll be asked to type in their name so we know who they are. And then after that they click join. I'm calling myself student1 so you can see what it's like. Pick an answer and they'll get feedback on their answer on why it was wrong. Let's do another one and get it right this time. Pick an answer and then click submit and then we'll get reasons why it's correct. Okay, there we go. Now let's look at the teacher's view. On the teacher's PC, they can see the student's progress. We can show their names. There are three students. We can hide their names and hide their answers. The grade boxes shows their progress. So you, as you can see, one student is working faster than the other student. We have to wait for them to catch up. We can also choose to display the student's names and show their scores as well like this. There you go. And you can see which ones they've got wrong. Two of these students got the same answer wrong in red. That informs your teaching. Maybe you need to reteach the concept for that so that they understand. And let's move on now. Let's take a closer look at the students' details. You can see what they got right and wrong, but let's look at their progress now. These percentages next to their name shows their overall progress. So you can see that test student has finished, put is almost finished, and ploy is a bit behind. So this can also cut down your workload as a teacher, collecting scores, but it also informs teaching because it's assessment for learning and you can focus on the things that the students got wrong. If you found this video useful, please click like and subscribe for more free videos. Thank you for watching.